Hello young astronomers, myself Ranjit Kumar, I am an astronomer and an astronomy educator with Space India. So in this video we are going to understand how to unbox the 50mm MEAD refractor telescope and how to assemble it. So let's unbox the 50mm refractor telescope. So I am going to open the box. So we have a manual here which tells about the parts and how to assemble the telescope. We have this manual. So we have these three boxes. So let's open first uh, the bigger box. So in this box we have the tripod. I'm going to make the tripod out from the cover. So I removed the cover. I'm going to keep the tripod here. And I'm going to put the cover in the box and keep the box aside. And similarly I'm going to unbox this. So when I unbox, now I can see a optical tube. So I'm going to take the optical tube out from the cover. So we have the last box, the smaller box. So in the smaller box, we have one star diagonal. We have the accelerator and the finder scope. We have Barlow and we have three eyepieces. So I am going to keep this box aside as well. Before keeping this box aside, I am going to remove the cover. So these are the different parts we have from the telescope. We have three different kinds of eyepieces here. So one 20 mm eyepiece, one 12 mm eyepiece and another one 4 mm eyepiece. So the basic difference between the, these, th these three eyepieces, we can magnify more using these three eyepieces. So in the telescope box itself, it is mentioned. So here it is mentioned as if we use 20 mm eyepiece, you, we can magnify up to 30 times. Means we can see the objects 30 times closer. If we use the 12 mm eyepiece, then we can magnify up to 50 times. Similarly, if you use 4 mm eyepiece, then we can magnify up to 150 times. So these are the use of different kind of eyepieces. Now we unbox a 50 mm infinity refractor telescope. So let's assemble it. So now we are ready for assembling a telescope. So first step what we have to do, we have to take the tripod and you can see there is a rubber band over here. So we have to remove the rubber band like this and then take out the rubber band. So we have this rubber band, take out the rubber band. So if we take out the rubber band, now we can extend our tripod. But still it is very small this tripod looks very small to extend our tripod what we are going to do here you can see there is one switch kind of structure so what we have to do we have to open this now our tripod can be extended so once it is open close it and again do the same for all other two sides so when we extend our tripod make sure the tripod legs all the tri all the three tripod legs are in same height you can see there is a screw kind of thing here so we have to remove this so take this out so you can see there the, are three supports so what we have to do we have to take the support bracket and in that support bracket you can see some bracket like this so what we have to do we have to make sure this bracket falls on the support So once this is done, the next step we have to keep the, the screw and we have to tighten this. Why we are using this support tray? This support tray makes our tripod legs stable. Now our tripod is ready. Next step what we are going to do, we are going to attach our optical, optical tube with the tripod. So how to attach? To attach this, here you can see there is a screw in the optical tube. So remove the screw. Then keep your tripod, see in, in our, in our uh, optical tube we have two holes, we have two holes. So in the tripod also we can see we have two holes. So we have to make sure these two holes coincide, then we have to insert the screw and always insert the screw the opposite side to the golden plating. In this side you can see that there are some golden plating. So always we have to insert the screw opposite side to the golden plating so i'm keeping like this
why we have to insert the screw from the opposite side of the golden plating because if you insert that on the that side we cannot make a telescope to move maximum height now our optical tube is attached with the tripod next step what we are going to do we have to take the star diagonal so here we have the star diagonal just to remove the cap from the star diagonal see just to loosen the screw and remove the, this cap and take out the cap from the silver coating also so now i have taken the star diagonal so what we have to do we have to insert the star diagonal in this place so you can see there is a cap over here also so just to loosen these two screws and then take out the cap i'm going to keep this cap this side as well next step what we have to do we have to insert the silver color side inside the optical tube so insert like this and then tighten the screw make sure the star diagonal is not coming out from the optical tube next step what we have to do we have to insert the eyepiece to insert the eyepiece we have three eyepieces so always begin with 20 mm eyepiece as it is best for the beginners so the eyepiece mm are mentioned in front of the eyepiece so i have taken the 20 mm eyepiece to insert what we have to do you can see there is a screw over here so just to loosen the screw so that we can insert our eyepiece so insert our eyepiece then tight the screw so if i tight it make sure that again this eyepiece is not coming out from the star diagonal so now our eyepiece is also attached next step what we have to do we have to attach the finder scope so here i have taken the finder scope so you can see they are some places for the finder scope to attach so what we have to do we have to loosen these two knobs now i have taken out the screws next step what we have to do we have to place our finder scope on the optical tube uh, we have to place in such a way that, that the bigger diameter side has to point the front side like this once it is done insert the screw now our telescope assembling part is done we have one more thing in our telescope box that is barlow so this barlow we use barlow to increase the magnification as i as i said in the beginning different eyepiece have different magnification if we use this barlow it will double the magnification of the eyepiece how to fix the barlow with the optical tube so you can see there are two knobs just to loosen the knob and remove the star diagonal and then insert the silver part from the barlow inside the optical tube like this so once it is done loosen the screw in the barlow and then insert this silver color part here and then tighten it so this is how we will fix the barlow with our optical tube so once this is done our telescope is completely ready this is all about from the assembling part of a telescope now let's understand how to point this telescope towards any particular object to point any object from this particular telescope i have taken out the barlow from the telescope to make it easier i'm going to keep the barlow aside so now this telescope is attached with a 20 mm eyepiece as i told 20 mm eyepiece are best for the beginners so i am begin with the 20 mm eyepiece so first step we have to remove the cap which is in front of the telescope so i'm going to remove this cap so now our telescope is ready to point any object first begin with terrestrial objects like trees buildings or towers as they are stable we can make it, we can point easily so first point any nearest terrestrial object let's say we have pointed the telescope towards tree and keep your eye in this and then make sure whatever the object you point whatever the terrestrial object you point comes in the center of this eyepiece so once we did this next step we have to align our finder scope aligning finder scope is important because to point any night sky objects to point any celestial objects what we have to do first we will get the object in the finder scope then we can easily find from the eyepiece to make that easier we have to align our finder scope with the eyepiece so to align what to do you can see there are three knobs there are three screws so we can loosen and tighten these three screws so we have to keep our eyes this side and then we have to observe the same object comes in the center of the this finder scope also so once you once you feel that okay it is center in both the eyepiece and the finder scope now your finder scope is aligned with the eyepiece 
so once terrestrial objects is done we can go for celestial objects that is night sky objects so to find any night sky object what we have to do we have to get that object first in the finder scope as the finder scope covers more area it will be easy for us to first get the object in the finder scope if that object comes in the center of the finder scope then it will be in the center of the eyepiece also because we have aligned our finder scope with the eyepiece so this is how we point any object from this 50 mm refractor telescope so after pointing the object sometimes the image may be blurred so how to get a proper and sharp image so for that here you can see two knobs so you can adjust these two knobs for clear image for focusing depending upon your eyesight depending upon your eye you can adjust this and you can get your focus by keeping your eyes like this so once the focusing is done you you can enjoy the beauty of celestial objects so that is it from my side in this telescope video i hope you you learned how to unbox a 50 mm refractor telescope and how to align it how to point this telescope towards any particular object so wish you all clear skies happy hunting bye bye everyone